So this is Look at the Fool by Tim Buckley. Uh, the reason why this one made the list was a cool little open hat and bass drum thing on some upbeat 16ths in and around the fourth beat of, of, the, of the bar when it shows up. Um, so that was one tick. And then also during the chorus, or, or we'll call it the chorus, I'm not quite sure how we want to describe it, but when he goes to the ride cymbal, uh, the first go around, um, the fill ideas can be eighth note bass for like foundation wise, uh, you know, keep keeping that as the, the go to, but there's a lot of second gear with the 16th notes or the, um, actually my bad. We're going to call those, we're going to say those 32nd notes, uh, as the second gear. So 16th is kind of the, the status quo 30 seconds, um, will be, uh, kind of the, the, the flare that we'll put on it. So we'll tackle the first idea first. So the open hat deal. If you're not comfortable with lifting and playing both of these at the same time, uh, that's essential. Um, let's keep it, let's do something on numbers, or sorry, numbers and ands versus es and us. So um, on the beat versus off the beat. And then the upbeats. Ah. Okay. So once you have an idea of like, oh man, I I know when this happens in the measure based on the feeling of it's a, if it feels like it's an on beat, a number or an and, or an upbeat, an e or an up. That's the first step. The next step is figuring out when the bass pattern, you know, uh, when that lines up. So this is kind of a, my first take of this. So what's crucial is that the bass drum shows up on the of three and the E of four. That's kind of the either or for the, when we're gonna add this. Clyde Stubblefield, uh, Jabbo Starks kind of vibe, especially um, up to tempo. You can choose to play this with the right hand or left hand, as long as you catch the snare on four. Um, okay. So something I wanted to mention too, is that if you play the E of four, it would be nice to play the snare drum or the bass drum on the uh of four, just to kind of lead into beat one so there's not this awkward gap of, of space. If you want that effect, great. Um, but kind of just to bring us back into the, 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 the main groove, this is kind of what I'm thinking. just kind of leading us back in and then as uh, for the the fill ideas those are all 16 it's one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a, that kind of idea but let's say you wanted to pick moments as we'll call them accents but we're going to layer them as 30 second notes thinking yeah yeah boom be yeah uh. so if I can sing it yeah uh, you know uh, the the 30 second part of it was gonna be the long sounds yeah to get out that's kind of what I'm thinking Lots of 
different options, and I'm not playing exactly what's on the on the record for you know for sure. But when you take a listen to the rec to the record, uh, just be mindful of the different options that that exist. Uh, ascending, descending, kind of a look, especially down the toms, is always a great idea. Uh, and there was also coming out of that chorus, that ride cymbal section. There's an awesome hand to foot type of idea um, that I might have catched the tail end of um, on the demo. But um, yeah, this is this is worth a, a a playthrough all the way through. The outro is killing. Great, great tune.